All right, so I'm going to work on a cabinet to go here next to sink. I want it to be similar to uh, this cabinet that I made just to cover the uh, vent hood and the, the hose that goes out the wall. Uh, but I want to eliminate the top grain or the end grain. So I want to have this side panel go all the way up and then have the uh, sides go into the side with, or the bottom and top go into the sides with the uh, blind tenons. I want it to be flush with the uh, loft up there. So nest in between the loft and this uh, window trim. So that's uh, 45 and 7 eighths there. Um, I'm gonna minus an eighth just to give me some wiggle room. The 45 and three quarters there. And I'm gonna make it 18 inches above the uh, countertop. 18 inches right here. So I'll just have it line up with this uh, piece of uh, wall here. So I gotta square up this end. Okay, I made up some quick bow ties and I'm just going to hopefully inlay these here on this crack so they don't open up anymore. Shoot. tenon but I don't want it to go all the way to the front of the uh, cabinet so I'm doing half inch, half inch cutouts so that along the entire sideboard it comes together this buries in and uh, it'll be a flush joint there So I've got to cut out this quarter inch 
piece of wood here so I can leave a half inch tenon uh, for the top of the uh, cabinet. So I made lines where I'm going to cut grooves for the sliding doors. I'm going to do about 5 sixteenths for the grooves and then a quarter inch in between them and then another 5 sixteenths grooves uh, so the doors can, can overlap. I'm going to do 3 eighths deep on the top and then only an eighth of an inch deep on the bottom. That way you can slide the doors in. There's a really great video uh, about how to determine the, the depth and Measuring all these out, I'll put that in the link uh, below. It's a really great overview about making sliding door cabinets. Let's take these and we'll cut them up. So I added uh, peg holes uh, for a shelf. Uh, I don't. I might uh, put one shelf uh, in there, but at the moment uh, I'm just gonna drill them. Uh, drilled it out so that I have the option to later. It's always easier to drill it while uh, all the pieces are apart uh, before uh, putting it back. I've got all uh, the sides and the top together. I'm going to add a hanging piece, a piece to, to drill into the, the studs. Um, with, we're going to add that with pocket holes. It'll uh, go uh, a bit quicker. Uh, you could chisel it in and glue it in, uh, but at the moment I'm not going to do that.
doors in. This still needs a little bit of sanding. Uh, and if, I'm gonna fill this with uh, epoxy, uh, like I did uh, my floors, and some a uh, little bit of color uh, dye, uh, and then uh, clean the edges here. But uh, right now they're in the tracks. They do bump up a little bit, so I gotta I gotta clean the edges just a little bit. Slide past each other. Sliding right now pretty well. One's in the back. That's just a tiny, tiny little bit tight. One's in the front are are really nice. I'm gonna add a uh, a hole here, uh, like my cabinets. Uh, my cabinets here, uh, and then I'm gonna add a. Uh, decorative uh, slide piece uh, that I'll make in a, in a future video. Uh, but right now I have these set up. They're overlapping just enough. Let's see, probably about three quarters of an inch, half inch, once these are butted up against each other. Um, so, I did it in four pieces so that I could open one whole side uh, to get out whatever I need, and then you can move them the other side in the middle. Whereas uh, if you had two pieces that were this wide, uh, you could only ever access one side or the other. You couldn't access the middle. So I think uh, four pieces. Uh, it's gonna work pretty well. Uh, I just need to add a, a, a strip here. I'm not gonna add a uh, bad uh, back to it, um, just to save a little bit more depth, um, since I'm already losing a, you know an inch and a half for the doors, inch and a quarter for the doors. If I had a, a quarter quarter inch or a half inch back plate, I'd lose that quarter inch because I'm right at nine and uh, 15 sixteenths, just under 10 inches for the full depth of the cabinet. Um, so that'll give me enough space to put in different item plates and things like that. So that quarter of an inch is, is kind of uh, precious for what I have going on right now. So I'm going to add the uh, Hanging, hanging uh, piece uh, with some Craig uh, pocket screws. I'm gonna add a piece here just to uh, uh, a piece of uh, uh, finish. And uh, and once those are glued on and screwed on, um, we'll uh, put it uh, we'll screwed to the wall. And then uh, I'll have to add these uh, the holes and the decorative pieces. Uh, to, uh... So this is what I mean when I say the cutout uh, for half an inch on the shoulder. Um, the mortised piece goes into the side, but this is flush on the end. So this is, uh, the middle part is longer. It sticks into the here halfway. And uh, this piece is cut out, so it's nice and flush there.
So I got all the holes drilled. I'm going to make a video later making a, a, a piece of trim, a decorative piece for all the holes. Uh, I just, it's a lot of metal work. <laughs> I got bigger projects to do. Uh, so that'll come later. But, uh, I got, this is the only drawer or slide uh, that's a little bit tight. I guess it warped a little, it, it cupped a little. Uh, I think a little sanding will do that. Good. But all the others slide really well. And uh, I haven't even waxed the uh, slides. So I don't even know if they, they need it. But the holes are, are working well. Uh, just at the perfect height. So that's good there. I filled in this little knot with some epoxy. I might hit it with a, a little bit of oil just to bring it out. Uh, but as of right now, I, can, I just need to make a shelf uh, here to uh, give me a little more space. It might actually work well with three shelves, depending on what I uh, put in it. Uh, but at the moment, Gonna look good. They're overlapping about half inch on either side, which is uh, good enough. They're close enough. They're actually pretty close to touching uh, when sliding across each other. So I think it was a good accident <laughs> on on the measuring part. The uh, uh, tracks are about an eighth of an inch deep. Uh, with a quarter inch space in between them and about five sixteenths wide. Um, so there's, there's about an eighth of an inch on, on the door. So they're pretty much touching uh, when they're overlapping. Uh, so this cup one, if I turned it around, it would actually bump up against it. Um, but right now it looks good. It's up on the wall, it's hanging. thinking that these might uh, kink or torque in a way, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like they will. So. Looks good to me. That's a, that'll provide a lot of storage uh, for cups and, and bowls and things. And uh, now I just got to work on the next project. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.